right. Ooh, okay, we're going to three two right via Echo Kilo okay. Juliet, and uh, I'll give way to oh cross uh, one. Brother Bell, one high watch and flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact. You have Tango. Information Tango. Conquer Tower, information Tango zero zero four nine or Zulu. Wind two nine or zero at four. Visibility one zero. One zero thousand scattered. Temperature one seven. Dew point two. Altimeter three zero one two. Visual approach and use, landing in the part of runway 32. Notice two airmen, taxiway Bravo between runway 1 on the right and taxiway Mike closed, where advisories are in effect. Hazardous weather information for California and coastal waters available on high watts and flight service frequencies. Okay, so the next uh, frequency we will probably need is ground Santa Rosa on this radio anyway. I got the 6 day Golf Golf, Conquer Tower, report intern adults and verify information Tango. So ground will be 121.9 as well. That works. Their weather is 120.55. Uh, Petaluma? No, that's for uh, Sonoma. We'll get Petaluma oh. on here. I guess, yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right. We'll do Petaluma weather. Petaluma would be... No, I, I want to say they were all the same, weren't they? Or... TBM 06 for uh, Sierra, 32, you're doing good. 30, uh, just uh, take the right turn there 325. and uh, pass by the tower, you'll go all the way to the end. Okay. Traffic advisory, frequency 22.7. Okay. Okay, 132.32 and 122.7. I fucked that up. Oh well. Yeah. Let's do uh, 1.9. Okay, so 211 Tango Delta, PSA flight, request taxi with Tango. About 11. So the 211 Tango Delta, contact ground, on 32 right taxi so. via okay. Juliet. It brings her off. 32 right taxi via yeah, Juliet. 211 okay. Tango Delta. Uh, creep forward. Best steering. Left is good. Right is good. Brakes, pilot side are good. You have the aircraft. I have the aircraft. Oh, let's see. Yeah. My brakes. Good. Good. Your aircraft. I have the aircraft. You have the aircraft. Yeah. Turn on some nav lights and I'll land. We can see. Some people leave the strobes off until they take the runway just because it's annoying to. I, um, I only have one switch for all the nav lights. Oh, okay. That's the only problem. No problem. So, cheapo, cheapo. No problem. Clear left and clear right. Clear right. Timmy 930, Romeo Sierra, Conquer Tower, run my 3 to right, clip for takeoff, and be advised, uh, radio is coming in very weak. Uh, runway. Okay, uh, TBM 0, Romeo Sierra, say departure request. I wonder what, oh, was it, uh, Pat, did they patch the channels, probably? What's well, that? Sure I the departure approved TBM 0, Romeo They Sierra. probably patched the ground and the tower channel. Because I'm on the ground channel, but I'm hearing tower traffic. Yeah, he's probably doing both. Okay, we're on one two one point nine. Conquered ground Cherokee two eight six three Mike on the east ramp with Tango. Cherokee two eight six three Mike conquered ground on my three two right taxi. Three two right taxi six three Mike. Uh, clear over here. Morning six three Victor. If you need to run up areas off your right near where the Cherokee is. Roger. <laughs> hold short runway three two right. Morning six three Victor. He must be on ground, uh, tower free. Yeah, that's what I mean. We're, I, he, I think he patched both together. 26 3 Victor, the TBM yeah, on the roll is also straight out. Shout out the departure approved and race 3 2 right click okay. for takeoff. Got run up, got brakes set. So this is where we test like all the stuff before we take off. Right down. Down. Run up. Three, Victor. Flight controls free and correct. Elevator trim is set for takeoff. Unseater panel test. Primer is in and locked. Fuel pump is on. Mixture is set full rich. Throttle going up to 2000. Magnetos two left. Two right. One left. One right. Testing the car.
carb heat. Flight drop. EDM zero Romeo Sierra frequency change. Yeah, Flight rise. How's my vacuum? Made. Looks good. Five. Five. Oh. Ammeter is charging. Fuel pressure is good. Well, oil pressure good. Oil temp is on the rise. We'll kill the fuel pump. Fuel pressure Looks maintains. Good. Coming back to idle. To BM zero Romeo Sierra North call is one two zero point nine. Okay, and all our gauge lights are on, panel lights are up, nav lights are up. All right. Where's your, where's your heading out of uh, here to Petaluma? Uh, 283. 283, that's probably about, <laughs> for what it's worth on the VOR, about 283. Yeah. Uh, 276 out of uh, Skaggs Island. Uh, all right, cool. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's turn. Yeah, that's good. Waiting there, so. We'll just tell them we're ready. There we go. Is there another plane coming out too? Yeah, we're gonna have to fucking wait forever. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no, he might be going to the ramp. Yeah, he's going home. Conquer Tower, Cherokee, 2863 Mike at the 3 2 run up with uh, Tango. We'd like a straight out departure. Cherokee, two way six three bike, Conquer Tower pass behind inbound Cessna. Straight out departure approved, runway three two right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, six three bike. When he's six three Victor, six three Victor, six three Victor. Good day. Yeah. Thanks a lot, so long, six three Victor. Good day. Isn't there a plane? What's? Oh, those are just the runway. Uh, oh, is that what that? Okay. Runway in identifier lights is what they have there. I thought it was this airplane strobe, <laughs> like, fuck, telling us to take off. There's a plane there. Yeah, just more All right. funny of the runway. Runway end identifier lights, the red ones. We tried 244, Conquer. Blue Air Taxi. Taxi via Juliet. White yeah, runway. I've never seen the strobe before there. Yeah, this is all new. Hey, fuel pump is on. Mixture is full rich. Lights, camera, action. in action. Now we're off about. 632 or something 18, like that. 32. Or, 18, or, or 532. Runway end lights. All right, here we go. Okay. All in the green, airspeed's live, looking for 65. Yes, sir. Could be on Highway 4. Oh, yeah. Uh, Christy was like, you're going to take off and look at all that traffic and laugh. I'm like, yes, ma'am. I can't even imagine doing uh, that every day. If I lived in Brentwood, I would literally fly home to Byron. There's <laughs> no way I would sit in that. <laughs> it took me about 20 minutes just to get to the airport today from Martinez. This is unreal. Go out over the bridge and make a left. Tower Citation 181 Sierra Golf is about uh, 11 miles to the uh, north inbound with Tango. Citation 181 Sierra Golf, Conquer Tower, make right traffic from way 3 to our report of 3 mile 45 traffic and Ember Air departing to a right turn toward the VOR. 1 Sierra Golf, we'll go. Big Sharp 244, Conquer Tower traffic, There's one zero miles northwest of the field inbound a citation. I kind of not to any case, 3,700 in descending, runway 3 2 right, clear for takeoff. 3 2 right, clear for takeoff, Big Sharp 244. Conquer Tower, Cessna 9520 Delta, 7 miles to the north. Cessna 9520 Delta, Conquer Tower, make right base, uh, right base, entry for runway 3 2 right, reported 2 mile right base. Making right base with Tango for 3 2 right. Our frequency change is approved in a moment. Yeah, or they forget about it. Another frequency change approved, good day. So, right, 
Brian, does your, I'll call it your headlight stay on the whole time you're flying? No, I uh, actually, my, I have a little light that's over there. We'll, I'll keep it on for right now just because there's other traffic in here, there's but generally a, I turn it off after. Uh, there you go. Fuel pressure is still good. Yeah, generally I turn it off. The one thing about the off frequency. But since we're kind of in a busy area, I'll leave it on for the moment. Okay. Up this route. It does cost money when it burns Cherokee out. Cherokee 63 Mike, uh, uh, frequency. Uh, yeah, he's Buddy? calling us. 63 Mike, go ahead. Cherokee 63 Mike, traffic at your 11 o'clock, two and a half miles, opposite direction, type one, no, not two, indicates 1,400. We'll be looking, 63 Mike. That should be below us. That guy's probably on a VOR approach. Yeah, that's right one take off. The uh, Ember is not the traffic right there. I see uh, a white light. Off. Roger that. Yeah. We're calling our three mile 45. Citation so one take off from my three two right, clear to land. Clear to land, Sierra Go. Citation so one Sierra one oh, take off. Additional is. traffic ahead and to your left, about a mile and a half is a set the inbound on the right base entry. Down there. Uh, to indicate one thousand eight hundred in descending. One Sierra Go, looking. Good evening, Conquer Tower. Medvac helicopter CHP 32 over the Benicia Bridge, uh, transitioning towards John Muir. 1,200. Up, up, that's the uh, 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 traffic. Uh, fighting behind you and off your right, the citation. Uh, uh, Those police are everywhere. Just uh, north of the Mallard Reservoir. They'll be number one ahead of you. Okay, we have that traffic in sight. We'll follow. We'll keep it wide here, please. That's the two, sir. That's the Roger. Number two behind that traffic. Number three, two right. Clear to land. Caution, wake turbulence. Three to right, clear to land, causing only turbulence for uh, number two. Big shark 344, freak or question, contact Travis today. Cocker Tower 63 Mike, re uh, clear frequency change. Big shark 244, contact Travis. Number 63 Mike, frequency change approved. Roger, good day, 63 Mike. C332, Concord Tower, transition approved. Concord altimeter is 3012. Traff, uh, Either uh, where are you going again? Either 19.9 or 20.9 uh, John Muir, patient on board. Uh, we're 1,100 right now. Try Travis. Big Sharp 244, better contact over the Concord VOR. Climb maintain 10,000. 10,000, Big Sharp 244. Travis approach, Cherokee 2863, Mike request. Verify calling Travis is 2863 Mike. That's affirmative. November 2863 Mike, say request. We're just west of the Benicia Bridge, uh, approaching 3000, and we would like flight following to Petaluma. November 63 Mike, say uh, take aircraft again. It's a Cherokee Warrior. Big Stripe 244, contact NorCal 124.32, good night. 2432, good night, Big Stripe 244. November 63, Mike, Squawk 4227. 4227, 63, Mike. They like me, I always turn it the wrong way. I know, <laughs> the long way. November 63, Mike, radar contact 5 miles west of the Concord VOR, south to climb two. I'm actually, actually going to go back down to 2500. November 63, Mike Roger. Uh, red at night, Sailor's Delight. It's going to be yeah. good weather tomorrow. Red in the morning, Sailor take warning. November 63, Mike, contact Oakland Center, 127.8, good night. 127.8, 63, Mike, good night. Yeah, it's Oakland Center now. <laughs> Box 1965, Cessna 208, slant golf, we're at 7,500, just uh, over the uh, west edge of Clear Lake. VFR to May, they're requesting advisory. Did he say it was NorCal? Uh, no, this is uh, Oakland, Oakland Center. Center. Okay. 4532, Fox 1965. Oakland Center, Cherokee 2863, Mike, checking in with you on 127.8. That's the Carquinas Bridge directly below us. Yes. 2863, Mike, Oakland Center, Roger. Oh. Petaluma, altimeter is 3012. 3012, 63 Mike. 
Yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Yeah, that's Car um, Carquinez. Interstate 80. Vallejo. 3011 Fox 1965. Uh, Napa Airport's up to the right a little oh, bit. Oh, do you have your uh, foggles? Uh, yeah, I do. You want to... Give me those and we'll get some instrument time? Yeah, I don't. You know, this is instrument time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if you're cool with this, then I'm too. I'm, I mean, you got to look at this yeah. stuff. I mean, with, with the black horizon. Yeah, if you're cool with that, then that's good with this. This is one less hassle. All right, we're at 2,500. Set. Pitch uh, power trim. Traffic on 37. Traffic on. 80 and 29. We'll go like this. We'll get a comp two. Oh. Sky condition clear below 1, 2,000. Temperature 1, 3 Celsius. Dew point 8 Celsius. Altimeter 3, 0, 1, 3. Inches of mercury. Petaluma Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation zero one four seven Zulu. Wind two eight zero at three knots. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Temperature one. So what do they have, like a 3-1 there? Oh, what? The runway? Yeah. It's 2-5 uh, or 9? 2-9. Uh, yeah. The winds are 2 eight, zero, 3 almost a straight in. Or you do a left, or you do a right base to 2-9. Uh, and I was going to ask you, we were talking about um, runway uh, arrival procedures last time and going over midfield. Um, what's the best way to do that here? Oh, yeah, 2,500. Uh, just fly straight over the runway? You'd probably fly right, right just to the right of it? Well, at night, I would... Well, we know pretty much where the terrain is, so we fly right over the field at, you know, 2,000 feet above. Okay. And then uh, go... Make a right pattern? Yeah, right, right, right downwind to 1,000. But if you know where you are, you can... Uh, I can actually see the airport from here. Yeah. <laughs> so see the bright lights straight ahead, Dad? Off the nose, I know that's kind of maybe hard, but you see the brightest lights of, the, of yep. them all right there? Yep. That's basically their runway. Over here's Napa. Every time I look Oakland forward. Center, Pack Valley, 7650 off the Ukiah. What are you saying? Every time I lean forward, I bang into this thing, my head into the... Oh, the, the, is there air coming out of there? Yeah. Good. Is it warm or...? Cool, cool air both sides on the bottom and on the top. There's a adjustment thing over here. Let's. Uh, I'm good. On, oh, I know. I was just gonna say, turn the heat, the top one over oh, to the right. Oh yeah. Just to test it. No, there's that's a defroster. There's a defroster. Yeah. There you go. Let's see if it changes to warm, Dad. They probably get. I could smell it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yep. There we go. Well, All right. You can turn it back off. No, it's not. Middle. Hasn't gotten warm yet, but I can smell it yeah. also. It'll come in. I can feel it on my legs warmer. Yes, sir. Look, I can pick up my IFR to uh, Sacramento National looking for direct Sacramento if I uh, can do the it. Problem, uh, problem at night is sometimes the black hole, they, that's one of the FAA big questions. What is that? Okay, reaching 7,000 quick direct. You have the airport Sacramento in sight. Direct. Thank you, sir. And then all of a sudden it disappears. That's because of terrain. Uh -huh. you know, the best thing you can do is do a 180. Until you get it in sight again. That's what's bad at flying VFR at night, not knowing what the train is below you. That's why I do your flight plan. Marmot 35, descend and maintain 4,200. Here's 37 uh, out there, Dad. Yep. Like a straight, 
Yeah, that Shellville Airport is right off. Number 2863 Mike, Raider Service Terminal, Squawk VFR, good day. Uh, Squawk VFR, 63 Mike, good day. Yeah, that Shellville is uh, right about 1 o'clock down low. It's all naturally daytime. And Sonoma Sky Park's up a little farther. Let me know if it gets too hot back there. It hasn't gotten warm back here. You need some, need some, need some, uh, a little more? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm just saying, I, I'm checking this vent and it's still blowing cool air. Okay, we'll do our, uh... Oh. Just, just check the one behind Ryan's seat and it's blowing check cool air. all of our stuff here. That'd be great, and then the triple nine or Alpha Juliet now turning left face for Tupac. Somebody's left base for 2-5, that's a different airport. We're doing 2-9. Okay, we've got, uh... Edis, we got the weather, we set our altimeter, our radios are set. Got our approach clearance, because it's us. Yeah, with this, you got it, there's a ridge line here, especially at night. Uh, unless you know exactly what's underneath you, it's almost best to fly. Yeah, it's over... Right to the airport, and then uh, descend in the in the pattern. Okay. But when you feel you're away from the ridge. Petaluma traffic, back valley 7721, uh, caravan is departing 1-1, one, one, straight out, Petaluma. Uh, somebody's using 1-1 one, one at Petaluma, straight out. 3, Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than 1-1. I guess it makes sense if they're going this way. Yeah. Wind's calm. Does Petaluma have a tower? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, We're on a common traffic advisory. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike. We are about 10 miles, maybe a little bit less, out from 29. Petaluma. Yeah, Petaluma 7721, so departure roll 11, one, Petaluma. Somebody's taking off on 1-1, one, one, yep. they said. Well, uh, they should be taking off almost straight at us, huh? Now let's turn that heat down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. My legs are roasting. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's one extreme or another. I know. It's kind of like in the car. I see him. Oh, you do see him in the air? Yeah, he's right there. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, I have departing aircraft in sight. Yeah, we're diverging to uh, to your left, uh, 7721 has you as well. Roger, thank you. Somebody turn on the lights. Or off. <laughs> One, two, Petaluma traffic, Pike Valley 7. Now see the airport just light up there? Two point two miles to the uh, southeast out of Bright oh, lights over there. The yep, strip. I just turned those on with Pike looking my radio five times. Oh, cool. Uh, three three clicks is dim, five is medium, and seven is bright. That's supposed to time out after fifteen minutes. Guess when they go off, right? Is it when you're still right. on final. <laughs> Everybody's clicking real quick. It happens. All right, we'll do our descent. Yeah, so you can almost enter a downwind here. Mixture. And then a base and final if you want to land on 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, that would be easier. And we can just take off 2-5. Yeah. Now we breezy taxi. All right, we got our uh, mixture full rich fuels. We'll change on the ground. 
Everything's good. We don't need car traffic. Our correction, uh, 17 traffic, Mini 305 Golf. It's about five miles southwest of Sunny 2700. We're going to overfly the field at 2,000 feet to maneuver and around a 45 for right down on runway 32, full stop. Where was he? He's going to runway 32 at some other airport. Yeah, I just didn't hear where he, where he said he was and he never finished up. Yeah. Supposed to be Highway 12 down here. And so if we're entering the downwind, and as long as we can see the runway that is clear from here, we're yeah. okay to, uh, that we don't have to fly over then, right? Yeah. Actually, they wanted us uh, on this side of Adobe on the uh, directory. Yeah, it's all, you can kind of guess it's noise abatement. Yeah. Housing. Although, how, much, how noisy can a small airplane be? Come on. I, I know who <laughs> built all those houses. <laughs> We can't see the ones that are burned out, though. That's the problem with flying at night. You know, my company I used to work for. Hold on one second. Pedaluma traffic, Cherokee 2863, Mike, on a four mile downwind for 1 1, Petaluma. Just so you want to be at 1,000 when you enter the downwind here, uh, when you get closer. So that looks pretty good. Oh, I was just going to say it was the company I used to work for built most of those houses. Yeah. I was supposed to fly a lady yesterday. They want to take photos up at Green Valley near Santa Rosa or someplace. But she canceled. Wants to see the area and take some pictures. I think she said they had a friend that lost the house. So oh, Ryan, are you going to kind of veer over to the left just before you land? Is that what you're doing? No, I'm. Uh, that's a really sharp left. We're actually going to make a big U-turn and land going this ah, way. Got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a downwind. Well, there's no wind. Yeah, today. there's no wind, so it doesn't matter which way we land on the runway. Okay. So. All right. But the other guy took off. But we wanted to part this way to Santa Rosa. So what we'll do to make it easy, because the wind isn't really a factor, we'll land this way. We'll basically taxi um, or go down the entire runway, then turn around at the end and take off that way, so we don't even have to taxi, really. Got it. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee, 2863 Mike on the downwind, 411, Petaluma. Okay, descent checklist? Yes, we already right got right. everything on the descent checklist. We're 1,000 feet, pattern altitude. Doesn't sound like anybody else is around. Figure out what a beam the numbers is here. Yeah. Is that a second row of lights? All right. Okay, we got fifteen hundred power. What not your flaps? Uh, carb heat is required. Don't need it. Traffic Cherokee 63 Mike turning base for 11 Petaluma. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike on final for 1 1, Petaluma.
3,600 feet. Bite it. Yep. Probably should yeah. give me a little night time. <laughs> Cherokee 2863 Mike, going around Petaluma. Why did you go around? Uh, we were, I was a little high, so uh, we didn't want to risk running out of runway when we were landing. Uh, yeah, we land in the first third. As good as the landing. It's a no-fault uh, clause. It's a freebie. <laughs> or freebies. I'll make my uh, down one a little bit longer. I had to do that three times once in a MD-80 in New York. Rochester or Syracuse. Somebody was on the runway, didn't get off, and they had an emergency. The second one, and then the, something about the Air Force or something had to get out. Three, <laughs> three go arounds. <laughs> it's actually a lot of fun, except for the passengers in the back. Yeah, they're like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I had to tell them they got another view of Syracuse. Kind of frustrating, but it happens. Cherokee 2863 Mike, turning crosswind for 1-1, Petaluma. I know what you were thinking. You thought, well, maybe we're a little heavier, so it shouldn't be a problem with losing altitude. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> I ate a light lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, downwind 11, Petaluma. Oh, one Could more stop. There you go. Oh, yeah, that could help. Yeah, that was off our nose it looks like. That's been up on the top of a hill no, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah that's a that's a problem with night illusions. You think it's a Yeah I saw that a while ago but it looked like it was moving this time. Yeah because I was gonna say something last time I go ah it looks like lights down below it. Probably a little less power so you can slow down some more. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to go out a little bit further too. The combination of both will be good. Speed of 45 to the back, so we're still a little off. There we go. Pataluma traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike turning base, 1 1. I didn't see a Vassy, did I? Um, no, not on this side, I don't think. On yeah. the other side, it has one. It might have been better to. Yeah, the I was other just way. thinking. <laughs> yeah, if there's a Vassy on the other side. We'll see what we can do here. 
How's the timing on the runway lights? So, give it another five clicks. Uh, here there we go. go. Fasties really help. Especially if it's yeah, especially at night. Narrow, real narrow runway. This one's not too bad. It makes it appear high. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike on final 1 1. Petaluma. And if it slopes up, it makes it appear high. It appear high, but looks okay. There you go, I got the flaps. Got the gear down, got the flaps down. I hope the gear's down. Yeah. <laughs> now we're in trouble. I fix that one. Uh, looks good this time. And that's about the only thing you could do on the runway is uh, raise the flaps so you can spoil the lift and help you stop. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 6 3 Mike, clear the active. Petaluma. You are clear runway checklist. Radio was good. Flaps are right. up. Center. Take off. RP heat is off. Pedo heat is off. Fuel pump is off. Mixture is lean. Trim set to takeoff. Transponder is good. Taxi. And we're on at 602. And then you just need, there's no big thing right now, but just let somebody know that you're taxiing to runway okay. 29, just in case somebody else is out here. I don't think anybody is. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, taxiing to 29, Petaluma. Yeah, the FAA doesn't want you to do anything on the runway except control the airplane, and the only thing you can do is raise the flaps so you can uh, get more pressure on the brakes. All right. Who's that? Oh, I'll get this just a second. Okay, we got our takeoff. Where'd it go? There we go. All right. Let's see. For, um, oh, let's see. For, uh, just to stay ahead of the game here. Yeah, I'm putting, um, I've got the next trip in the map, and... Uh, let's see... Oakland Center 27-8, we don't need that, we'll be over yeah, our tower in no time. Yeah. By the time you check in, you check out. So we'll go, uh... Weather, we'll put on the bottom, 123.325, which is Thank you, maybe I'll get it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's if it comes in. Petaluma Municipal Airport. Automated well, weather observation, <laughs> zero, uh, two, one. We'll stop there in 2443. Eight is his 20.55. Uh, I want to pull out the wrong airport here. Left to one, two, zero, and 2443. And one, four, thousand. All right, so we got eight is one, two, zero, point, five, five. We've got tower ground one, two, one, point, nine. nine. That tower is 118.5. Tower, tower hours 7 a.m. to 8 p.m.? Okay. All right, so we've got all our radios set. You might even get ATIS right now yeah. if, you, if you wanted to. Well, that's hassle to do. If it comes in, maybe it won't come in. Nope. <laughs> Sometimes when you're close, it comes in. That we'll put a one three two point three two five. What's 
32, 32. That's where we're at right now. And one zero. Oh, oh man, I'm sky mess. condition clear. Hold on, guys. We'll get this right yet. Petaluma, Unicom, one two two point seven. Roger, turning in for number two. Five Bravo Bravo. Here we go. And we've got Sonoma, or excuse me. This is ATIS for. Charles Schultz, we need 118.5. All right, now we're good. Yeah. Okay. Eight is ground power for up there. Yep. Cool. All right, we've got fuel pump on. Engine gauges are all looking good. We'll switch tanks to the left tank. Fuel pressure is still good. Turn the fuel pump off. Fuel pressure is still good. Fuel pump on. Rich. Heartbeat is off. Mixture set. Flaps are set. Standing lights on. Strobe lights are on. I don't uh, see anybody on final either way. Guy is blind. No flags. Doors and windows latched. Let's see here. Just to stay ahead of the game. We were going to Santa. Let's see, 13 0. Uh, oh, yeah, the uh, AR. DOR, and it's uh, 294 if you were going to go right to the airport. Uh, let's see, that down here for what it's worth. 13 yep. 294. And the ILS. Uh, do you want me to do the uh, ILS or the oh, DOR? The just as a backup. I mean, or, just I mean, do you want GPS approach? That's a GPS approach. Oh, here's the local. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't print the ILS. I it can do would either. be uh, on, let's see, what's that frequency? 1093? 1093. So 1093 for 109. What is that for? 3. That's the ILS. Okay. I oh, so localizer. localizer. And it gives you the glide slope on new, okay. this one here. And the inbound course is two, 321, just as a backup. It's, it's yeah. So 321. So if this would give you a three degree glide slope all the way down okay. to uh, 580 feet, or actually 377. That is if, but we're going to fly visual anyway. Right. But the, this is like a good backup for instruments. Okay. And the ident would be, of course, I don't know, I don't know if we can get it here. Probably not. It's probably too. Anyway, it would be I, which is dit dit, and then uh, STS. That would be the ILS. Mm -hmm. You're ready to go? That. Yeah, that's a precision approach. All right, we're clear. Oh, clear here. Final in both directions. Yeah. There's an airplane overhead, but they probably ain't coming here. Is that your door? Go ahead. Yeah, this is my door. Yeah, he said he was flying over it. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike taking 29. Yeah, clear right. Got lights, camera, action. All good. Everything. As a last minute backup. Thirty thirty six hundred foot runway. Right down two nine at two nine zero. Looks good. All the green airspeed live at sixty five. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 2863, Mike departing to the north to Santa Rosa, last call, Petaluma.
Blue 7 Bravo Bravo, turn right next taxiway. Where do you park? Now we're going to the Jet Center. First time here. Bye, Bravo Bravo. Malibu 7 Bravo Bravo, Roger Taxi, the Jet Center via Alpha and Alpha 4 remain on this frequency. Roger, Alpha, Alpha 4, this frequency, by Bravo Bravo. Oh, yeah. You haven't shit your pants yet? <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm, I like it. Plotus, uh, six Romeo and Juliet, haven't forgotten about you. Got one more on final. I'll get you on your way after that. Daytime, be able to see all the burned out areas. Let's go up to 2,000. Oh, then you could do the 2,000. Any more? No, that's no, that's fine. Right. I was gonna say there anything else. I think we're just burning gas. Yeah, it's not worth it. Two thousand is the final approach fix at six point two miles. For if you if if they're landing on three two, which probably they are. I give this a try. Give what a turn. The uh, eight is there. Oh. There you go. Actually, it'll be like this. Advise the tower control that your eye follow and ready for departure. On initial contact, advise you have Quebec. Quebec for you. Uh, Centurion 39 Mike Cross, runway 32 uh, at Zulu, Texas. We got Quebec. Zero one five three zero observation. observation. My wind calm, visibility one zero, sky clear, temperature one two, D point niner, altimeter three zero one two. Visual approach in use, landing and departing runway three two. Perfect. Notice, Airman, the Charlie 5 SID is unavailable. All outbound IFR aircraft advise the tower control that your IFR when ready for departure. On initial contact, advise you have Quebec. Wizcom 32, 3012. Who knows what they'll give us? Piaggio 3, Mike Charlie, runway 32, taxi via Alpha, this frequency. 32 via Alpha, this See the runway down? 3, Mike Charlie. See, like, a little racing light that goes forward there? Straight off the Juliet, runway 32, cleared for takeoff. Uh, you'll see like little white strobe light jumping forward with some green lights and then some white lights and then some red lights straight off the nose. I can't see the dashes in the way. Okay. Oh, when you turn turn it that way a little bit to the left, you'll be able to see the rabbits. They call it the rabbit lights. Kind of a directional, let you know the runway, especially in low visibility. Santa Rosa Tower, Cherokee 2863, Mike. Santa Rosa have a tower? Yeah. doesn't like us. There he's on the telephone. <laughs> or giving somebody a clearance. You could try again if you want. I'll give him a minute. We're still uh, not even 10 miles out. Or more than 10 miles out. You see it now, Dad? About one o'clock. Well, it's a little jumpy lights. Like little glistens. Can't quite see over the dash from where I'm sitting. Oh, turn a little. If you want to turn a little bit more and line up, almost straight in. Santa Rosa Tower, Cherokee two eight six three, Mike. Or 118.5, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Ja. Oh, would this bit radio be better? You try it. Santa Rosa Tower, Cherokee 2863 Mike. I heard him talking. Oh, three Mike, Charlie's ready. We're about to have to circle here in a minute, just out of his airspace. I wonder if he's dead. Uh, Santa Rosa Tower, uh, 63 Mike, radio check. Sure, 353 Charlie Alpha, Santa Rosa, ground remain 32, taxi via Zulu Alpha. Yeah, calling for the radio check. I was on the line with Senator Sagan. So, uh, Cherokee 2863 Mike for Santa Rosa Tower. 2863 Mike, loud and clear. We are just about eight miles to the southeast uh, requesting Landing on 3-2, and we have Quebec. Turkey 6-3, Mike, Roger, report a uh, two-mile final on runway 3-2. Reporting a two-mile final on runway 3-2, 6-3, Mike. All right. That's Piaggio 3, Mike, Charlie's ready. Uh, you have no okay, problem with the radios. Radio on three, two. Clear for takeoff, that? left close you traffic. You have no problem with the radios. Clear for takeoff, left close traffic, 3, Mike, Charlie. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, what was going on there. Probably on a landmine. <laughs> yeah, he said he was on with Ty. 2.9er, altimeter. 1.9. Oh. There you go, 2,000. It's probably about six miles. There's your glide slope. Yep. And usually, and then if you, down, that means we need to go down to it, correct? Yeah, and if it... When the localizer goes to the left, you go left and bring it back to the center. If it goes right, you go right to bring it to the center. So you kind of see it lined up here. And usually on most of these airplanes, we fly about 90, 90 knots on the approach. With the winds calm, that gives you a 90 knot ground speed for timing, if you use timing. But this is usually yeah, not a problem. So as we go, you... It would be going all the way down to a final of 377, 377 feet. Then you got to see the runway or do a missed approach. Do you see the runway now, Dan? Yep. <laughs> it was just, the dash was just a little bit too high. Landing light on, good. Everything should still be on. Yeah, they're very short. I didn't even turn anything off because we're already on the way down. Yeah, the ILS is great for you for a three degree glide slope, especially in bad weather. About 300 feet per mile. Well, 1,500 feet, or about divided by three, that's about five miles. Mike Charlie's so left downwind, full stop. Turkey 63 Mike, say your distance. We are right at two miles. 63 Mike. Turkey 63 Mike, we're only 32, clear to land. 32 Mike, clear, 32, clear to land, 63 Mike. There's your 3 Mike Charlie, I'll put you number two, follow the Cherokee on a two mile final. Turkey's in sight, 3 Mike Charlie. 3 Mike Charlie, number two, clear to land. Number two, clear to land, 3 Mike Charlie. Hey, we're going notch your flaps here. Yeah. Santa Rosa Tower, Cirrus uh, 353 Charlie Alpha, holding short of uh, 32 at Alpha 6, 
Ready for right down when departure. Six thousand feet. Charlie Alpha Center's time runner. Hold short runway three two. It'll be just a minute for your departure. Hold short runway three two. Center's three five three. Charlie Alpha. Gums boost gas under carriage mixture prop. Good. No Vassy, all you got is this. <laughs> Find the next one here. Yeah, just. Yeah, there's one coming up. Just Turkey 63, Mike, turn right off of four, and where are you parked tonight? We'll be a full stop at taxiing back to 32 for departure towards Healdsburg. Turkey 63, Mike, remain this frequency, tax back to runway 32 via Alpha. 32 via Alpha, 63, Mike. There's A4, and we're going to go to Alpha. He's the only guy in the tower, so that's why he's yeah. been talking. Especially when he's on the phone with uh, the center. Or his girlfriend. Yeah. Or he says the center. <laughs> cool. So we'll stop here for a minute. Uh, clear the runway. We got our. Uh, Did he say taxi with him? Tower 6 3, Mike. Did you want me on this frequency or ground? Yeah, you can stay on this frequency. Roger, 6 3 Mike. Pull my plug out. Radio, okay. So we don't need to do ground. Flaps are up. Carb heat is off. Keto heat's off. Fuel pump. 353 three, Charlie Alpha still holding short of runway 32. Keep on. Make sure. Keep off, uh, Roger. I got one more landing and then I'll get you going. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I have a feeling this is Alpha. Yep. We don't want to go to the terminal. And not another plane coming in. Yeah. Yeah. The other one still waiting to take off. Yep. Supposedly have a nice, uh, yeah, there's the other plane over there coming. But they supposedly have a nice uh, steakhouse restaurant over here, too, and a sushi bar. No idea where it is, but. Uh, a couple regional carriers. I think it might be actually that. Probably right there, that little building off to the left. Helicopters can take off too. Somebody hit center talk, center ground, hold short of taxi wheel. Reach Charlie Alpha, could you get a squawk code on flight following to San Carlos? Comes the next plane in on the right. And calling on tower frequency, I stepped in here a second. Uh, 353 Charlie Alpha Lake, uh, squawk code, flight following to San Carlos. Roger, I'll set you up with Oakland Center once you're airborne. Roger that, uh, 353 Charlie Alpha. As you'll see, Mike Charlie, turn right at Alpha 3, minor ground point niner, taxi to the hill. Alpha 3, ground point niner, uh, to the hill. 3 Mike Charlie, thanks. I'm at Center Tug, uh, cross taxi Alpha, hold short, we're running 2 2 on Zulu. Three Charlie Alpha, right down departure approved, runway 32, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 32353 Charlie Alpha. Tower Baron 128, Whiskey Sierra is about 14 miles southeast, inbound uh, for 32 with uh, KBAC. Baron 128, Whiskey Sierra, Center Tower, report a 3 mile final, runway 32. Report 3 mile final, 328, Whiskey Sierra. Is that the Sierras? Yeah. Uh, go over here.
here for a second and we'll uh, do our radios and all that crap. Wish I had a Cirrus. <laughs> Okay. Uh, fuel pump. Somebody just on a tug, cross runway 32 at Zoo, taxi, uh, proceed to the club. Fieldsburg. 122.8, and that's it. Yeah, there's not much of a Fieldsburg. Somebody just on a tug, cross runway 32, proceed to the club via. Uh, it's Fieldsburg here. Now we've got that stupid weather thing on the radio, too, we have to deal with. And, uh,. Out of STS 133, if you were going to do this, it would be the 318, just about there, for 10 miles. <laughs> okay. And right traffic for 13. We'll get a fuel uh, pump on. Traffic patterns 1,300 feet. 1,300 feet for that. Engine gauges are good. We'll switch tanks up at uh, Healdsburg. Carb heat's off. Are set full rich flaps are set landing light we'll turn on in a second strobes are on check our uh silver sheet two four center scan cleared to the monterey airport via the freeze a niner departure point raise transition victor two seven we're guys doing everything should we direct the clearance maintain yeah. eight thousand expect one five thousand ten minutes after tower. departure Arch for Concealed Center, 127.8, squawk 4256. And there's right traffic on the uh, Healdsburg there. Yeah. 1,300 feet traffic pattern. Now you can almost probably make it okay, a left traffic before we back straight here. I don't know. Left traffic, wouldn't it be? Oh, yeah. Left traffic for... Alright, we're 31. Our clearance. Santa Rosa Tower, Cherokee 6 3 Mike, ready for departure at 3 2. Cherokee 6 3 Mike, runway 3 2, straight out, clear for takeoff. Start departure, clear for takeoff. 6 3 Mike, thank you, good night. The fuel looks good. Center tug, center to ground, out of your reach. Looks good, everything's set. At 0630. Okay, continue holding short. I did try to cross you a couple times already. He's way out on final. Yeah. Okay, be I don't even know if he's coming here. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> Where's my line? Should be on it. There we go. There's three Good two. Test. Should be three two zero on the heading. Three two three two. All the green airspeed's alive. Looking for airspeed alive. Looking for sixty five. We could probably go like 120 down this thing in so long. Yeah. To Take off like a jet straight into the air. 3 2 at Zulu, proceed to the club via echo. Approaching 65, rotating. Zero 3, Charlie Alpha, uh, Oakland Center tonight, 127.8 for your flight following, and uh, it may be uh, that you have to climb a little bit for them to see you. The uh, radar is on uh, low power at tonight. <laughs> Uh, 353 Charlie Alpha, sitting over to Oakland Center. You climb up to 20,000 feet, they'll get you. Yeah. I think that guy talking on the Cirrus there going to San Carlos was, uh, he taught the mountain flying class I went to see down there. Huh. All right, looks like there's a plane up to our, just off the nose. Or it could be a light in the hills. Yeah, yeah light, light in the sure. hills, I think. Uh, 1500, huh? Probably all you need. Yeah. This guy might not even say goodbye because he's so busy. Oh, by the time we hit his airspace, we'll be descending into the next. Point up to. Helicopter 130, Kilo Juliet, Santa Star, Southeast, on departure approved, depart, Jet Center, pilot zone risk. Roger, we'll go present position, Southeast. Roger. And that light out you see out there is a bearing on about a four mile final. Contact on him. I think I see the Vazzy out there. Majestic Center, talk to you. Those red lights. 
Baron 4, Cousin Baron 8, Whiskey Sierra. Traffic just lifting off uh, south of the tower, southeastbound. Helicopter, runway 32, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 32, Baron 8, Whiskey Sierra. Listen to one and transmit on two. <laughs> There's the airport. Yieldsburg Municipal Airport. Automated advisory. Wind calm. Altimeter 3013. For runway, pilot discretion. On departure, turn west 20 degrees. No straight in, no touch and goes. yourself most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Especially up here. Go back to one. See this uh, green glob here? That's the glide slope, or the uh, your glide assist. That gives you an oh, indicator yeah. if yeah. your engine quits, how far you can make it and where you're going. Yeah. Bad news is we wouldn't have here. Baron 8, Whiskey Sierra, turn right, one able, and where are you parking tonight? Right, turn one able, and we're going to Sonoma Jet Center. Baron 8, Whiskey Sierra, Roger, monitor ground point nine or taxi to Jet Center via straight ahead, right on the ramp. Okay, hey, monitor ground point nine or and taxi to Jet Center via straight ahead and right turn on the ramp, 8, Whiskey Sierra. Gorgeous out tonight. Yeah, they had a fire up here. I know they evacuated people from around Healdsburg. Many fires. Almost on the edge of his ring. Three mic frequency change approved. Uh, he doesn't care. I just switch over. I'll just tell him. Santa Rosa Tower, Cherokee 63 Mike, uh, request frequency change. Cherokee 63 Mike, frequency change approved. Have a good flight. Thank you. Good night. Healdsburg traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, two miles to the south. Do a flyover of the runway at 1,500, making left traffic for 31. Healdsburg. I think Cloverdale's up farther. Yeah. You can the next one up. Farther. Cloverdale's with parachutists. Of course, you don't have to worry about that at night. It doesn't <laughs> look like anybody is uh, on the runway. So traffic pattern is about 1,300, and left at 13. length of the runway is 2,650, upslope on 3-1 a little bit, total. Look 
give you a feel your low. The runway looks clear best as I can see, it's pitch freaking black, so they're in a black hole. This is instruments if you ask me. Yeah. You don't have a horizon. I'm gonna make a left turn. Is that all the runway lights there are? Yep. Okay. But we got to work with. Another non towered airport. 800 feet looks good. Check pumps and yeah, we, everything's on. Mixture is rich. We never did anything from takeoff, so yeah, because it's so <laughs> short. These are the hardest flights when yeah, it's so short. You don't even have time to do any checklist. Yeah, you almost have to do stuff on the ground like you did. Healdsburg traffic, Cherokee six three Mike on the downwind for three one Healdsburg. You want noise abatement, but you make me circle. Pick your make up your mind. Do they actually require you to circle to check the airport? Yeah, it said no straight ends. Okay. You heard that on the radio there? Yep. No touch and goes. Of course, and if you had to make one, you'd make one. <laughs> he said something about staying left or something like that? Yeah, left traffic. on the west side here. This is the left traffic. Okay. So more housing on the right. I guess we're just flying over grapes right here, huh? <laughs> Healdsburg traffic, Cherokee 6 3 Mike, turning base 4 3 1. Healdsburg. It's 3 1, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you don't want to be high. Yeah, you gotta go around. If you want to. This will give you the illusion here. There's a one degree upslope this direction. They got a VASI, so you can probably yeah. fly it in. So you just work on your airspeed and line up. All, all white on the vertical approach yeah. slope indicator means you're high. One red, one white, you're perfect. Two red, you're low. Healdsburg traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike on final 431, Healdsburg. Here we are. White over, white, white, high, red, red, dead. <laughs> if you want to be. I have plenty morbid, so. Uh, pilots have morbid humor. A Vazzy sure does make a difference, though. So. Yeah. Especially at night. Yeah, you gotta believe it. Yeah, that's the other thing, you gotta trust it, too. Strictly instruments. Is my yoke squeaking again? Yeah. Okay, it'll come down here. Pitch for airspeed, power for altitude. There it is. Okay, not too bad. Looking all right. Got it. We got it made. Boost in. There we go. That's good. A little hard. We made it. What was the beep? That was a stall warning. Oh, okay. Comes on 5 to 10. It's actually the perfect way to land. That's about the only time you want to hear it. Just before you touch. Yeah. Cool. Hey, no wind. Yeah. Yeah, that wind sucks. Yeah, it's deflated. <laughs> I believe that is called flaccid. <laughs> Narrow taxiways. Yeah, it's a uh, weird ankle too. Watch out for jackrabbits and weeds. Healdsburg traffic, Cherokee 63 might clear the active Healdsburg.
Taxi lights are are blue, or in some cases red, uh, green. <laughs> uh, I guess they ran out of blue, so they made them green. Do we get clear? We'll uh, fuel pump off. We'll leave the mixture. Pops are down. Radio is good. Carb heats off. Pedo heats off. Light on. Mixture is lean. Trim set to take off. Responder's good. Okay. Taxi on. Healdsburg traffic, Cherokee 6 3, Mike taxiing to 3 1. Healdsburg. Pretty dead here. Dead quiet. Elevation. Uh, 280 feet elevation. That's why the pattern is 1300. Probably says left pattern only due to noise. Be, be a neighbor. Yeah, I don't see shit out to the right. I mean, I guess there's some houses out there, but yeah, you'd think it would be more of a right pattern because I see less that direction. Okay. So, so let's set up for home. So let's see. This uh, one we take off. No, 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 no. No touching goes. Practice landings be a day. Okay, we've got. Uh, what was our uh, center here? Uh, Oakland. Uh, probably 20 one, two, one, one twenty-seven eight. One twenty-four point four says departure. One twenty-four point four. Hold on. Oh, okay. Healdsburg. Then you can always ask uh, Santa Rosa Tower yeah. on the way. <laughs> Santa Rosa Tower. Yeah, it doesn't say. Well, what's Santa Rosa? It's going to be the same as Yeah, that. it's Santa Rosa. Uh, let's see. Tower. It always confuses me. It says Charles M. Schultz. I'm looking for Santa Rosa. Peace. Communication. I think it was 27.8 is what we were on. Well, 118.5 is their tower, but I was looking for the uh, approach for the uh, flight falling. That uh, might be a Travis or 27.8. I think we'd be Oakland. Oakland. Oh, yep, 127.8. Same thing. Or, same as before. Yeah, Oakland Center, 27.8. Over there. Or 122.8 here. All right, cool. We'll keep it at that, and then we'll switch to... Our ATIS in a little bit. All right, so we're set up there. Uh, do our before takeoff. We've got our fuel pump on. Oh yeah, we did marker time, so we'll call it four minutes ago. They uh, 44, yeah. 46, 46. The whopping eight minute flight. Santa Rosa is about the opposite, about 160 or 140. Call it 1852 departure, got mixture full rich. Fuel pump on, engine gauges are all good, we'll switch tanks. The right tank. Yeah. Not all right, yeah. Yeah, we're about equal, so that's good. We'll hit the fuel pump off, make sure we still have pressure. We do. Fuel pump back on. Checked all of our gauges. Let's make sure this thing's lined up. Oh, with with it rain uh, coming to rain more in the in in the winter months, you may have to start using carb heat a little more, but not today. That's pretty dry. Okay, we've got all of our lights on. Checked all that crap. 
Uh, when your door is closed? Yeah, I'll, I'll close mine, no problem. Alright, yeah, I see air traffic up there. I don't know what he's doing. Hear him. Uh. Darn one. Might be that helicopter that took off. Going north. 118.5. 2, 2, 2.8. Oh no, I was already on that on the bottom. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay, whatever. We'll leave that one alone. All right, we're on comp two. He's going to the north. All right. Final clear. Yeah, final clear. Healdsburg traffic, Cherokee six three Mike taking three one. Healdsburg. Then you can assure the traffic is probably to the left to avoid the. Uh, Avoid housing. Yeah. Okay, the door's closed. And they be f because of air. Okay, all the green air. Oh, on. there goes your lights. What's that? The lights went off. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> air speed's alive, looking for 65. That would have been fun doing it in the dark. Ah, yeah, whatever, I can see the lines with the lines because we got to pull back. Yeah. 65, rotating. Hillsburg area traffic, chopped to 132, just crossing east to west, a little bit north of the airport, we're at 3100. We've got you in sight, 6 here, Mike. Usually, like in a black hole like this, you want at least. 400 feet above the ground, so that's about 700 before you start your turn. Yeah. yeah. In helicopter, we're going to be making a turn to the left and headed back to the south. 6-3 Mike. Uh, so we're just going to keep west down here. Roger. What did he say? He said they're going to keep going west. Okay. So we won't, uh, we're not a factor for him. That's no refinery, that's a winery. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm going to kind of cross over to the left here so we avoid his air trap or his airspace. Yeah. Well, you fly up over his airspace. I don't think we can climb that quick. Yeah. We're uh, pretty yeah. much already on top of it. Probably just stay to the east of it. Yeah. If I had a jet. <laughs> Some people I see just, that helicopter. Some people just fly right down 101 and just talk to the tower. All right, uh, we're at 2,000. I'm gonna turn off the fuel pump. Still have pressure. This is a good thing. I'm turn off the landing light. Actually, I'll leave the landing light on until we're out of his airspace. Just 17 zero. Where is he located, right? Who's he? Oh, he's gone. I'm talking about the oh, Santa, yeah, Santa Rosa airspace. Oh, there's the airport down there. Yeah. See off to your right. See the runway? Yep. So we're just gonna usually about a two mile radius and up to twenty five hundred feet above the airport is their uh, the traffic. Uh, I mean their tower controls that when the tower's open. When they close the tower eight or nine o'clock at night, then it becomes just like Healdsburg. You, you have to talk uh, other other aircraft. That's probably when you have too many radios and yeah, too much shit going on. all that stuff, all the fancy stuff. Over 2500, we'll start turning to the right.
26, of course he is. Oh, we're about 26 anyways. Alright. Switch over to flight following. We decided that was 121.8, right? Oh, uh, no, I think it's 27.8. Over at Petaluma. Now, uh, flight following. Um, I looked at Charles Schultz and that showed one. I think I wrote down 27.8 was Oakland Center. Yeah, yeah. Oakland Center. You know, they just swag it. Well, you got the actual mileage on your iPad there. Out there through yeah. uh, almost Skaggs Island. Good evening, Skywatch 3164, 17,000, descending 10,000 with Quebec. Skywatch 3164, Oakland Center, Roger, Santa Rosa altimeters uh, 3012. Actually, that's more than that, we're all actually at the current one shortly. Oakland Center, Cherokee 2863, Mike. Give me a Redwood 1809, leave a 98, 800, climb at 100. Redwood 1809, Oakland Center, climb and maintain for level 230. Redwood 1830, Redwood 1809. Might be out of his range or. 3164, clear direct Santa Rosa, expect a visual approach from my 32. Direct Santa Rosa, looks like visual 3264. Santa Rosa. 3164, descend out of pilot's discretion, maintain 5,000. Discretion out of 5,000, go 3164. Go back down to 25. Uh, well, you're going. East, so it's probably 35 is. Well, I mean, if we're under 3,000, then we don't need to, uh, we can fly lower. Uh. I mean, whatever, what do you prefer? Oh, I just saw the eastbound, you know, uh, 35, 55, 75. No, we'll stay Plus, you might be able to get a hold of them. 35 then? We'll just go to 35. Or just stay. That way, you might be able to, the higher you go, the better the radar, uh, radar coverage and the uh, reception, maybe. Oakland Center, Cherokee 2863, Mike. Better. Cherokee 2863, Mike, squawk 3351, go ahead. Squawking 3351, we're requesting flight following to CCR. We're just uh, southeast of Santa Rosa. Sure. Mike, what's your uh, altitude? What's your flying cruising altitude? 3,500. I'm sorry, say it again. 3,500. Yeah, actually, uh, in that case, North 60, Mike, the Mill Valley radar is out, and I'm not going to be able to give you a flight following at that altitude. Roger that. Should we stay VFR? Yeah, well, I'll just do that then. And uh, you can return to a 200 squawk, not that I can see you anyway, and uh, try Travis approach when you're closer, and uh, they might be able to do something for you.